today's video is going to look at the both teams to score market. We're going to analyse the data to see if there's anything we can do to ensure we are more profitable when trading this market. If you've watched our previous videos then you'll know how CGM bet works so I won't cover all the basics again. Let's get cracking. So first of all we're going to use the upcoming session here and the measures I'm going to be looking at are GG which is CGM bets um, both teams to score indicator uh, meaning goal goal and um, we're going to do that for home and away and also I'm going to look at the over two and a half goals stats for home and away because obviously for both teams to score we're going to need at least two goals so we need to make sure that both teams um, are frequently involved in games which are fairly high scoring and we're just going to look at that both at full time and uh, let's give that a refresh so I'm actually going to use uh, yesterday's games <coughs> just to give us a bit more data to look at. So if we go back to the 14th and hit refresh, and I shoved that for both columns actually. Um, this is just going to do column two. Um, so let's just refresh both, just so that we're up to date. And then we'll need to apply our filters, which in this instance, I'm going to use uh, over 60% of games where both teams have scored for home and away and I'm going to use the same for the over 2.5 just to make sure we've got enough games for the filter. So that's the both teams to score one and this is the over 2.5 goals filter. And if we apply that filter for both then we have seven games. One, two, three, four, five, six games, sorry. Um, which would have met that criteria yesterday. So the beauty of it being yesterday's games is we can actually see the final result. So out of the six games, uh, four would have won, and the two that didn't, interestingly, both ended nil-nil. Uh, and the ones that won all had goals in the first half. So straight away, we're picking up little patterns here. So first half goals seem to be something that we, we would like. And if there's no first half goal, certainly on yesterday's results, then we, we didn't uh, get a winning trade. So with that in mind, let's add the 0 0.5 goals in the first half, just so that we can hopefully hone this a little bit further. There we go. Like so. And we'll do a refresh on that as well. Okay, so now as refreshed, we just need to set the third measure just to look at the first half. And we'll put that at, say, 40%. Again, you can play around with these figures depending on um, what you think. But these are just basically just to get some data. <clears throat> so we, we can play around in this uh, example. So if we turn all those on, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to interrogate one of these games in more detail just to show you what tools we've got to our disposal to um, hopefully tweak this a little bit further. So we're going to go to the Feyenoord versus Nijmegen in the Dutch Eredivisie and we're going to set that as home and away and we're going to check for GG on home and away also. So what we've got here is where it's green then there's been both teams have scored <coughs> and where it's red then they haven't done. So looking at Nijmegen they've only got one away game where both teams didn't score and that was against PSV so instantly here I'm thinking were PSV too strong for Nijmegen do we need to have teams that are more suitably matched maybe looking at the ELO differences and also Feyenoord had a nil-nil there which kind of backs up the nil-nil theory we had from the previous screen but they've also had two other games where they've scored in the first half but the opposition uh, couldn't score so food for thought there I'd also recommend looking in tables and the statistics table here so if we look at uh, all goals scored at home so we're looking for Feyenoord in this instance so at the home they've scored 2.89 on average a game and concede 0 0.89 on average a game uh, looking at the away stats, we've got Nijmegen 
who score 1.63 goals every away game on average and concede 1.88. So that straight that looks quite quite appealing to me for both teams to score, especially when the home team is um, as strong as Feyenoord appear to be. Uh, one last place I always look is the Poisson calculator. So we can see here that uh, using the Poisson distribution method, uh, the home team have got a 5.3% chance of scoring zero and the away team 14.4%. So all, all of the pointers are pointing towards goals, which is obviously what we want. And uh, this game did finish 2-2, so it would have been a winning trade for us uh, had we used this kind of fairly basic at this stage strategy on this particular game. So what we're going to do now is we're going to back test this strategy on the English Premier League in the current season, which admittedly doesn't give us a massive sample size, but uh, it basically it will show what is possible. And that is what this video is designed for. It's not uh, meant to actually give you a fully working strategy, because um, I don't know myself if this is going to work or not. It's just purely for educational purposes. So we'll do a refresh on this. So we have 205 games that it's analysing from the English Premier League so far this season. So we'll reapply our filters once more, like so. And what we'll do now is we'll take this through to the advanced goals uh, part of the system and we'll see kind of what, what we can do. So. So we can see straight away um, that we've only got 64.29% of games which win with our existing strategy, <coughs> which is hardly anything to get excited about. Uh, before we try and improve this, it's probably worth looking at some of the games that didn't win to try and work out why. So Liverpool versus Aston Villa at the top. Uh, the ELO rating is quite close. Uh, there were goals in the first half, so maybe we just write that one off as being a little bit unfortunate. Uh, whereas Luton Tottenham was goalless at half time with a big ELO difference which kind of that's two things that we've already identified as being potential issues. Uh, same with Liverpool Everton uh, 333 ELO difference and no first half goals. So if we have a look at games that were nil nil at half time just to see um, what stats are and straight away we can see out of the five games now a very small sample size that were goalless at half time 80% of them would have gone to have lost in this strategy uh, and conversely if we look at goals where games sorry where there was at least one goal in the first half then we can see we've got a 73.91% hit rate um, which is heading in the right direction uh, one thing we could also look at as well is first half shots on target. If we look at anything more than four, which potentially represents an open game, and you can see now we're up to 82.35% winning with just 17.65% losing. So we're onto something here, but uh, again, it's a very, very small sample size, as I keep emphasizing. Uh, this alone is not going to be enough to make it a profitable strategy without further testing. But let's move back on to the upcoming section and see if we can actually tweak this a little bit more to get even more profit out of the, the strategy. So what we're going to use here is the custom columns, which is getting more powerful by each version of the software. Um, so initially what we're going to use is the between function, which is something fairly new. And we're going to look at the difference in the ELO ratings. So we're going to take the home team's ELO rating and subtract it from the away team's ELO rating. And we're going to do that. And we just want ones where it's below, between minus 150 and positive 150. And, and that will be a Boolean. So it, if it is in that range, it will be a one. If it's outside of that range, it will be a zero. And we also need to look at the um, shots on target for both teams. So if we go for the value, so the home team's home shots on target in the first 45 minutes of the last five games. And we'll insert that. 
and we will add that to the away team's shots on target in away games for the first 45 minutes of their last five games and we'll bracket that and we'll then divide that by five so we get an average shots on tar target in the first half for both teams over the past five games so we let that go away and we turn that on we need to recalculate that again that's my mistake there we go so the custom filter we want that to be a one because that's a boolean and the second one we want more than four because we've identified from the advanced goals that um, over four shots on target seems to be uh, a nice sweet spot for um, for goals so let's put that into our filter which again knocks us down to uh, uh, just eight games here if we take these back now into the advanced goal statistics then you can see we have now albeit on a sample size of eight we have won seven out of our eight trades um, by using this tactic which uh, is very much a step in the right direction but it's obviously going to need a whole lot more testing than eight games um, it is worth noting that the shots on target currently only works for the top leagues so if you like dabbling with the Serbian second division then you won't be able to use this measure but um, if you're sticking to the main leagues in all of the top European countries then you'll be fine using this method if you have found this video useful and would like to see more please like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching